Hi, I'm Luke Nichols with the law firm of Nichols and & Green, and I'm going to show you how beards can affect breathalyzers. Now, just to be perfectly clear, beards by themselves do not affect breathalyzers. If a person who has no alcohol in or around them blows into a breathalyzer machine, they're not going to register anything whether they have a beard or not. But what beards do is that they act as sponges, so that if you are exposed to alcohol, especially topical alcohol or alcohol on your skin, then that soaks that up and keeps it stored right where you're blowing into the machine. So for instance, there's certain cosmetic products, everyday products, that contain quite a bit of alcohol and can produce significant results. So for instance, um, body sprays like this Old Spice or Axe Body Spray has alcohol in it. Um, mosquito repellent has alcohol in it. And one of the most serious offenders is this Cool Zone Banana Boat Sport sunscreen. Some of these sunscreens can produce significant results. The more facial hair you have, the higher the effect, the more extreme the effect on the breathalyzer, and the longer the effect lasts. So the more time it takes for that alcohol to dissipate and get away. So let me demonstrate. I'm going to show you a couple different products and I'm going to try them with and without a beard and we're going to see the different results. We're going to try some aerosol banana boat cool mist sunscreen, 30 SPF here. And uh, let's see how this does. So 0.282. So put it in this perspective, that is over three times the legal limit. So the main inactive ingredient in this is alcohol denate, but there is a long list of chemicals in this, just like most of these products. There's tons and tons of chemicals, and I only know what a fraction of them are. So there's lots of different chemicals that could be acting with the preliminary breath test device that's not uh, called alcohol. You know, it could be some close cousin to alcohol, some chemical relationship. I don't know. All right, it's been about 16 minutes since I blew the first test. Let's see what my results are. So I'm getting around a 0 .003. So just trace amounts left over, but it's 16 minutes later. So you remember I tried this banana boat cool zone back when I had the beard and got a pretty high result, just a little under a 0.3. So now that I'm clean shaven, I'm going to try it again and kind of see if the beard made a big difference in the breathalyzer results. So taking this off. So look at that, 0.02, that's a lot lower. Now some of that can be how I sprayed it or how much actually came out of the can. There's a lot of variables, but you gotta admit that's significant. Oh, we're gonna try this again, go a little bit more heavy hand and see if that, how that much that affects it. All right, got it really directly on my face and lips. Point oh six seven. That's a lot less. That's man. That's uh, like four times less, like a quarter of what I was getting when I had a beard. That's a big difference. All right, now we're gonna try some classic aqua velvet and see what happens. All right, point zero zero nine. So definitely a significant result, um, not the highest we've seen by any stretch, but uh, definitely uh, spiked that up a little bit. Look a little bit more professional there, nice clean shave. Time to test our aftershaves. So we've got a little classic aqua velvet, which is mostly alcohol denate. I wanna see if beard versus no beard 
makes a difference. Alrighty. I am all velvety. So 0 0.007, so got a little bit of a result off that. Mmm, smooth. All right, so I've got the Off Family Care Smooth and Dry Bug Repellent. This doesn't have a list of ingredients on uh, the can, so I'm a little uh, uncertain what, whether or not there's alcohol in here, but we're gonna give it a try, so. So it looks like it's peaking at 0.016. Um, so that's just slightly under what it would take to get locked out of your car with ignition interlock. Now we're gonna try this uh, off bug repellent and see what it happens when you don't have a beard. Whew. Nasty stuff. So about a 0.009. At 0.009, you can see even without a beard, it still affects you. But, perhaps not as much. Here's the Old Spice Refresh All Day Swagger Scent. Um, and once again, it's an aerosol. Prime ingredient is alcohol denate. So let's give this a go. Point oh one nine, point oh one nine. So another really high result from an aerosol, and man, you can just taste it and smell it. And, oh, oh. So now we're gonna try this uh, Old Spice Swagger and see how it does without the beard. All righty. The Old Spice body spray got me a .008. It's pretty clear to me that everyday cosmetics can affect breathalyzers tests and having a beard makes those effects greater and makes them last longer. But there's a few things that you can remember. First off, consuming these products or using these products to get out of a DOI is a dumb idea. Don't do it. These increase your readings. They make you look even more drunk. And simply saying, I use these products, probably isn't going to get you out of a DUI. It's a little bit more complicated than that. Additionally, if you ever do use one of these products and you do fail to test, retest. The common thing that you see throughout all of these different pr uh, products, whether it's bug spray or sunscreen or Listerine or whatever, is that the results are temporary. They disappear really quickly. So if you have ignition interlock in your car and you've used one of these products and you blow into it and it comes up that you failed, retest and keep retesting until the results go away. That's the number one way to protect yourself. Because if body spray or sunscreen has caused you to fail the test, by retesting, you'll demonstrate that you've sobered up too quickly for it to be from real alcohol. I hope this video was useful. I hope you learned something new. If you have any questions about a pending criminal case in Northern Virginia, call us at the law firm of Nichols & Green. We give free consultations and we'd be happy to talk about your case.